Hi there. I'm Greg Steins from the Contextual Behavioural Science Laboratory in the Department of Psychology in University College Dublin. This video is part of a series of videos that is being produced by the Contextual Behavioural Science Lab to support people in response to the impact of the COVID-19 outbreak. For many of us, the current situation has led to our routines being massively disturbed, uh, to a situation where the ways in which we relate and connect to people has been very much disrupted. Um, and there's disruption to our lives in general. A lot of perhaps the goals, the aspirations we had for things we wanted to do over the next few months have been put on hold. We might feel that the anxieties and concerns that are cropping up for us are pushing and pulling us around the place. Uh, and we might have a sense that we just desperately want all of this to end. Uh, we might find that we're wishing this time away. But perhaps there's an opportunity in this as well, um, because we have time now that's available to us that we may not ordinarily have. Time that we might normally be spent through the busyness of our lives or through commuting to and from work or college, or perhaps sometimes just engaged in things that aren't really things that we value very much, but things that are just filling time. So maybe there's an opportunity uh, during this time when we have more time to use our time a bit more productively to use our time in the service of the things that really bring a sense of meaning and fulfillment to our lives, things that bring kind of vitality to us. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to invite you to take part in an exercise with me over the next five or 10 minutes to uh, maybe re-engage and connect with those things that you find most meaningful and most fulfilling in your life and to see if there's a possibility of making those a bigger part of your life over the coming weeks and months. So to complete this exercise, what I would like to invite you to do is to find a location where you're gonna be comfortable for the next five or 10 minutes, where uh, you're not gonna be disturbed. Once you have that location, allow yourself to uh, get yourself into a comfortable seated position, perhaps with your back self-supporting so that it's uh, straight but supple, allowing your shoulders to drop down a little bit and for your feet to gently push into the floor beneath you. And if it's comfortable for you to do so, letting your eyes close over gently. And so beginning this exercise by connecting in with your breath. So allowing your attention to gently follow as best you can the full flow of the in-breath and the full flow of the out-breath. Allowing your awareness to pick up on some of the changes that occur when you breathe in, perhaps the tightening of the muscles in the chest, and the changes that occur when you breathe out. Noticing, for example, the release and letting go. Expanding your awareness now to pick up on some of the sounds inside the room you're sitting in. And some of the sounds you're aware of outside the room. Noticing some of the sensations in your body. Maybe noticing the points of contact between your body and the chair that you're sitting on. And your body, the soles of your feet and the floor underneath you. And noticing as you're doing this, that there's a part of you that's able to notice all of these experiences. So allowing an image to form in your mind 
of a thread moving back in time, connecting you from this moment through all the experiences that you've had in your life. And as you move slowly backwards in time along this thread, you can pick up on some of the experiences and events that you had yesterday, those that you had last week, last month, last year, and beyond into the distance. And as you move backwards, maybe bringing to mind some of the key experiences that you've had in your life, which you have found particularly meaningful and fulfilling. Almost as if you were looking at these experiences on a mobile phone, like you were looking at photographs on a mobile phone, scrolling through these images of an account of different experiences that you've had of fulfilling events. So perhaps there's some events there, some experiences to do with relationships that you've had, meaningful relationships, or perhaps there's some activities that you were involved in, things that you got a real buzz out of, things that brought that sense of vitality to your life. Or maybe there's some challenges in there, some learning that you experienced that were really important to you, gave you a sense of connection with life. There might have also been some struggles too, but things that you value, things to, that point to key experiences for you, things that are important for you. And as you bring to mind these events, noticing what shows up for you, what sort of thoughts and feelings are appearing that accompany these images and these recollections that you have. And what do some of these key memories point to or shine a light on in terms of the things that you value most in life? What sort of people, what sort of experiences do you value most in life? So allowing that thought to settle and perhaps letting yourself come back along the thread, moving forward in time to this particular moment. Just noticing in your mind's eye what you have learned from that experience that you can take with you for today. Noticing perhaps some of the, the key messages from that. What were some of those images pointed to that reflect things that you value most in life? Maybe a common thread between some different experiences, things that were really important to you. And maybe now looking at this thread expanding on into the future, perhaps over the following three months. Maybe thinking about what it would look like for you to take a courageous step in one of these areas, to make it a bigger part of your life, even within the current situation we find ourselves in, where there are lots of restrictions. What particular actions could you take to make one of these areas a bigger part of your life in the coming months. Maybe bringing to mind a fly on the wall perspective, as if you were looking down on yourself, taking action in a particular way to make one of these areas a bigger part of your life. 
what might you see yourself doing? Who might you be with? Getting a sense of what steps you'd need to take to start taking that action. Maybe moving along the thread now to three months down the road to get a sense of yourself having taken this action or maybe a series of actions to make this a bigger part of your life. What would this self that's three months older than you are now advise you to do to make sure that this action took place? What do you think might show up for this three month older self having taken these actions and made this a bigger part of your life? What might you say to yourself? Now allowing yourself to come back along the thread again to this moment in time and connecting back in with yourself here, noticing the points of contact between yourself and the chair, noticing the points of contact between your body and the floor beneath you, the soles of the feet, noticing the sounds around you as you sit here, and in your own time, Gently opening your eyes and taking a stretch if you feel that would be comfortable for you to do so. So I hope you found that exercise useful and that you were able to generate an action that you could take to make these values which are important to you a bigger part of your life. Best wishes.